Hello, Cancer. My name is G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. This is your life, love, overall energy for the month of January 2019. Happy New Year, Cancer. The full moon is in your sign at the end of December. Around the 21st, 22nd, give or take a day, we will be dealing with your energy, which is going to help a lot of us resolve a lot of past issues, um, work through past hurts or complaints. Anything that did not sit well with us, we will be working towards it. For a lot of us, this is also about reminiscing, um, thinking about the past, maybe someone from the past popping up someone from a past life dealing with us, trying to reach out to us in a very spiritual way. Um, I feel like for you, Cancer, this is a lesson, a lesson to be learned, okay? In a, a way, in a very strange way, perhaps, I feel like you have a lot to be grateful for, but instead of focusing on all uh, the positive and the things that you should be grateful for, a lot of you have been overly focused on things that you really need to let go of. You have to be willing to let go of what no longer serve you. You have to be willing to let go of the past. Anything that have hurt you that you felt like you have had a hard time of releasing, you have to find a way to be at peace with your past, okay? And the way that you can do that is by tapping into your creative energy. I do see a lot of cards here about expression, being grateful, stepping into the new you, and so a lot of turns, okay? I see Indigo or Crystal Children, which for some of you, this could either be your own children that we're talking about, or this could be you having a specific way or being gifted or talented in a way of dealing with crystal children. So these are children who have like a special gift. A child who is um, very spiritual, may see things that the average eye does not see. You guys connect really well with these type of children because you are very creative and you can teach them how not to be afraid of their creativity. So not only that, but you have enough nurture inside of you where you can share that nurture inside with these particular children. And I feel like you gravitate to these type of children. And a lot of you are need to either get back into that field of working with these type of children or, again, this could be your own child that we're talking about. Or maybe you guys will have children that will be considered a crystal child, okay? Um, this is also telling you to pay attention to the crystal child. If a child comes to you and says something really strange that you find that is really weird, something that even an adult would not say to you and they say it to you, try to pay attention to the synchronicities and the different signs or what heaven is trying to tell you, okay? Either way, this is just simply letting you know that you do have a bond with children in particular, that you can actually help these type of children who are sensitive because you too are very sensitive and sometimes even very emotional. And so you can teach these children how you yourself deal with being such a sensitive soul, okay? So pay attention to the different signs or synchronicities that happen, okay? For a lot of you, you need to get back into that creative field, whether this is painting, drawing, singing, dancing, you know, um, simply being of service, doing anything that presents creativity, okay? This could be simply writing a book, writing a song. This could be um, keeping up with your daily activities, writing down things that you must do every weekend or processing a some type of business plan, getting to talk to people, network, you know, get to know people who can actually assist you on your journey, my love, especially when it comes to your business aspects. 
The universe wants you to know that you must take the next step now, okay? So there's something interesting about these first few cards, and I find it even more intriguing is because I think that you, Cancer, out of most signs, are one of the most creative individuals. And a lot of you are going through so much and doing, you know, going through so many different things because you are not living in divine purpose you are not living in your life purpose so in order for you to be happy you have to be doing what god has called you to do so whether that means to be working with children writing a book talking about your testimony talking about what you love you know teaching people what they don't know maybe you know something that we don't know cancer a lot of you are extremely creative and you need to get back into that this is not the first time that me and you have had this conversation and i think that it is you know very beneficial for you to get into your creativity as of now so in other words if there was something that you were extremely passionate about in the past you will find that you may be a bit extra creative this season especially with your opposite sign ruling everything right now which is capricorn capricorn is your opposite sign the sun is in capricorn saturn is in capricorn so there's a lot of energy that is pointing to you war pointing you towards the direction that you need to go and if that means to go back to what you first knew to go back to what you first loved you are being guided to work on your passion if you, for some reason, feel stalled or stuck, you know, this situation is, you know, offering you some type of solution. It is time to take action. So even a small, simple step in the direction of your vision will help you feel a sense of progress, I believe, and a little bit of hope. You already know what the next step is right you already know what you need to do you've been praying about it wondering asking about it complaining about it you already know what you need to do but you are not following your heart a lot of you are doing what everybody else wants you to do but you are not following your heart you already know what the next step is and as you or as even as your heart is leading you there you need to basically imagine Okay, you need to imagine what you would do if you did have unlimited time. Would you go back to working with children? Will you go back to writing that book? Will you go back to writing music? Would you go back to just simply writing out that business plan? What would you do if you had unlimited time to focus on your finances and your overall energy? Whatever what your first thought was, that is your answer okay this is your answer so as you step into the world of the unlimited your resources will definitely come to you so and it's gonna come to you okay it's going to come to you it's going to come to you when you least expect it it's going to come to you exactly as you need them to Provided that you listen to and follow your inner wisdom. Just remember that you will never be asked to do anything that could harm you or a loved one as your divine guidance is a conversation of love. So even if you feel like this is going to take away from my spouse, you know, I'm going to be working too hard. I'm going to have to take up a few more hours to save up for my business or whatever it is. If you feel like you need to step out of the ordinary, you will be blessed in a very extraordinary way. So try not to complain too much about the sacrifices that you have had to make. Try not to complain about what happened in the past because all of those things that has happened in the past is actually going to benefit for you benefit you in the long run cancer but you have to believe that i know that you're going through some things but you have to have faith it cannot be i'm so in love that 
I can't focus on my business. Or I'm so in love that family does not matter to me. Or I'm so in love that I can't focus on what really matters to me. You cannot deal with those type of things, Cancer. You have to remain positive. Take a leap of faith. You have to be willing to take a risk sometimes, okay? Now, when it comes to love, I do see chemistry, but I also see codependency. And I also see past life relationship. So if you feel like you are either going back down the same old road and insecurities are popping up, if you feel like, okay, you know, this individual is making me feel just like the other person did maybe it's not them maybe it's you maybe you are having a hard time of just letting it all go this is going to be the time where you confess what you feel what you write out what you feel where you admit to what you are feeling not to be afraid to say i am hurting too I have been abused too. I have been lied to as well. How can I help you make it through what I have been making it through for the past seven years? This is going to be your overall testimony and you cannot be afraid of that. However, don't ruin a perfect, beautiful relationship because of your insecurities. It's okay to talk about what you've been through. It's okay to even reflect, but don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. You have to move on. You cannot get stuck. Okay, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So in other words, if you notice that you drink a lot and when you drink, you get emotional, you start throwing shit, you start fighting. Those are the type of things that you may want to let go of. If you feel like every time you get in a relationship, you end up having this person's baby or you end up getting married to this person. I mean, not to judge, honey, but let's be realistic. How many times in just a year? can you be with an individual how many times in a year can you get married or have children like you have to break that cycle jumping from one relationship to the next is not cool you have to allow yourself a chance to breathe to let it go to relax you need time to heal my love so whatever it is that you are going through you have to know that even in love you know, this person may be a part of your past life. This could be a soulmate. This could be someone you were divine to be with for the rest of forever. However, you are letting past life issues affect you in your thinking in the way that you are choosing to live your life. And that is not cool. Nobody wants to be with someone who is overly obsessive, overly controlling, overly abusive, or, you know, um, someone is constantly insecure you have to heal those issues my love and like I said and it can start with just a simple pen and a simple piece of paper writing down what you've gone through because your testimony will eventually help someone through their testimony to help them get over what they have been going through but you know what the problem with this world is that we don't have enough people to look up to so why not let it start with you cancer if you have a testimony, you need to be out in the world sharing your testimony. There is nothing greater than being able to have someone to look up to. We can pray, we can beg God to save us, but it's nothing like having that one individual that you can call on. Or even if you write a book, at least we are reading a book about a victorious moment. And you cannot be afraid to share that, is what I'm saying to you, Cancer. Okay? Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or a pen an article or a book okay take the next step this is not the time for you to feel nostalgic this is not the time for you to reminisce and then try to run back to that person this is not the time for that you do not have time to reminisce too much okay you can reflect but don't get stuck I feel like this person is a good person, but do not run them away based on your insecurities. There seems like there could be a lot of strong magnetic attraction here. You know, a lot of you, like I said, are just sitting around complaining and not really focusing on how grateful 
you know, you really could be or how wonderful this person really is. Even if this is a job related situation or this is a family matter, you have to begin to count your blessings. If you have family that are supporting you, loving you, encouraging you and, you know, pushing you to be your best, you need to get off your high horse and start showing them some love. Because when it's all said and done, they are your backbone. So while you sit around and may feel like, oh, they don't love me, they don't care for me, you have to begin to show some love. Love in return, my love. You cannot expect everyone to be there for you, but then you are not trying to be there for them, okay? I also see here where... Whoever this person is, I feel like there's a lot of love between you two, okay? So, yes, there is a, definitely a lot of chemistry. Whether you are a man or a woman, there's definitely a lot of chemistry in this partnership. However, this person must know their place, and you must show them their place. You are my wife. I love you. This is my family. This, these are my friends. I have balance. I respect you, but I love who I am and I love my friends. Or, you know, you're my husband or you're my soon-to-be husband. I look up to you, but I cannot neglect my family just because they made a few mistakes. Or I cannot not show my family love because you and my family don't necessarily like each other. So something has to happen. There needs to be a grounding place, a meeting place, a spot where you guys can talk about it, work it out, agree to disagree, okay? I also see here walking away. What are you walking away from? Or what do you need to walk away from? These are some things that you may want to consider, okay? So this could be walking away from that job that no longer serve you, walking away from that relationship, that marriage, walking away simply from the past. Because like 